Hello, I would like to share with you five insights from a book called The Danish Way to Parenting that also apply to parents. Number one, free play teaches children to be less anxious. When we talk about play, um, we talk about it as if it were a relief from serious learning. But for children, play is serious learning. When children are left alone to play, they learn the social skills and skills to be resilient. Now, we have seen in psychological research that through play, they learn how to name the uh, stress and tame it. When they play like princesses and prince with a dragon and they're having that battle, they are literally wiring themselves on how to combat stress. Unstructured play is one of the best remedies to cope with stress, to learn self-resilience. So in Denmark, apparently they're very good at letting their kids play without pushing too much to succeed. Second, praise for growth and hard work. Too often we are praised or we praise children for how good they are and or how capable or able they are. Mm, you're so clever or you're so strong or you're so beautiful. These are characteristics that do not allow them to actually learn how to do the hard work or how to grow. When they're praised for how much they focus their attention, how long they've been helping or doing certain things, they learn how to grow. This is a humble skill that apparently Danish people are really good at. Teach kids to reframe for positive. For example, a lot of kids, because the prefrontal cortex is not developed, they would be emotionally unstable, naturally. And parents' task is to help children to control their emotions. Whatever the situation, uh, one can find a learning out of it. If, for example, they come and say, well, I failed in that test or I failed in that um, conversation, I didn't, it didn't go well, you can say, well, what have you learned from that? And look, the last time you had done it, you actually um, had success. And my little one will come and say, well, um, that and that is not my friend anymore. I say, well, uh, the last time we talked about him, he was your friend wasn't he? Oh yeah, yeah, he was, but not anymore. Okay, well, maybe there is an opportunity to, to learn what didn't work so you can, in the future, work better together. So there is, again, um, this opportunity for uh, an opening, for uh, a positive, for a growth, and that's what helps children. Don't just pursue happiness. Respect all emotions. Every emotion has its value. So opening up this conversation, not like a fairy tale, happy end story, or it all has to be happy. No, it's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel angry. And number five is celebrate this concept of hig. It's a concept of coziness, of hugging, of spending time with people and family and friends, doing things, little things that matter and celebrating them. Just having a cup of tea or reading a book or playing a board game that's your favorite or going for a walk without reaching out to those extravaganza or luxury experiences celebrating little moments around the fireplace being together having dinner going out and having a laugh these moments they bring more happiness and wonderful memories to children than any sport activities or traveling to ex ex exotic destination just bring those little moments back into your life Thank you.